very high climbing. Fearless the fire duck waddled slowly out of the firehouse on Duck Pond Lane and sighed deeply. He had just finished a 24-hour shift of duty and he was tired. Who would ever believe how much trouble one small pondful of animals can get into, he wondered to himself. Since this shift began, I fished a ferret out of the pond, pulled a garbage can off of the head of a goat, put out a fire caused by careless fireflies, and that was all in the first hour. I could sure use some rest. About 10 minutes later, Peerless had reached his favorite swimming spot. He was paddling about happily when he spotted Capers the cat and Harry the hound, who were approaching the pond from the other side. Capers was talking with Harry. Well, he wasn't exactly talking with Harry. He wasn't even talking to Harry. If truth be told, Capers was really talking at Harry. Harry didn't mind, though. He was a very good-natured sort of hound, and he was quite content to let others do the talking. Harry only talked when he had something worth saying. Don't you think my coat is remarkably beautiful today? Capers was asking, although he didn't really wait for an answer. There is nothing as gorgeous as an orange tabby. I'm especially beautiful when my coat catches the rays of the setting sun. Yep, replied Harry patiently. Capers did a double backwards flip, then a double forward flip, landed beautifully, and turned to Harry. Cats are marvelously athletic, don't you think? Yep, Harry agreed. We're more athletic than dogs, Capers continued. Yep. Harry agreed once more. Capers, beginning to think that Harry didn't truly appreciate him, tried a triple backwards flip, missed his landing, and came down all in a heap. Capers hurriedly picked himself up. That's my new two and a half backwards flip and pretend to fall trick, he announced, trying to hide his embarrassment. They had now come to Capers' favorite climbing tree, and he was eager to do something that did not end with his pretend-to-fall trick. Cats are especially great at climbing trees, remarked Capers. Yep. Dogs aren't great at climbing trees at all. Nope. With that, Capers leaped into the tree. With his sharp claws, he had no trouble going up up and higher still. In a flash, he was sitting high in the tree, higher than he'd ever gone before. Then he heard a shrill little voice above him chattering happily. Looking up, he saw Scampers the squirrel sitting above him. Did you mean to climb so high, Capers? asked Scampers. I know that cats are good climbers, he chattered, but perhaps cats might remember that when they go up, they will have to go down. I'm not worried, announced Capers grandly. I bet I'm the best tree climber in the world. Up Capers climbed, although the higher he went, the more carefully he went, until he was nearly as high up as Scampers. Scampers laughed and said, good job, now try this. Scurrying to the very end of the branch, he leaped out into the air and landed on a neighboring tree. Capers followed, determined to prove that he was every bit as brave and clever as Scampers. The farther Capers walked along the branch, however, the more the branch began to bend down under his weight. Halfway to the end of the branch, Capers realized that he was too heavy to go any further. This branch isn't strong enough to hold my weight, Capers stated. I think I'll go find a stronger branch. He turned his head to begin to go back. Then he made a mistake. He looked down. Whoa, he thought to himself, but he did not say it out loud. 
I am really high up. Down is a long, long way away. Now he couldn't even turn around. He was stuck. I'm not going to jump onto that tree, Cabers declared. It's not half as nice as this one. I'll just stay right here. Scampers was too busy having a good time to care much about Cabers. Scampers laughed and said, well, have fun in that tree. Under his breath, Scampers added, I fear, my friend, you're going to be there a long time. Capers looked down at Harry. Harry seemed a long, long way away. You see, Harry, cats are very superior tree climbers. I'll just sit here for a while, thinking about what great tree climbers we are. Inside, though, Capers was very scared. How did I get myself up here, he asked himself. And how on earth am I going to get myself down? Harry had been listening to the whole conversation between Capers and Scampers. He knew his friend Capers very well. He understood that Capers was much too vain to admit that he was stuck. He also knew that he could not rescue Capers by himself because, as Capers had just reminded him, dogs are not good at climbing trees, but dogs are good at getting help. Spotting Fearless the Fire Duck just a bit further around the pond, Harry jumped in and dog paddled as fast as he could till he reached Fearless. Quickly, Harry explained what had happened. Fearless sighed. After all, he was tired and he was off duty. Then again, he was fearless and he was a fire duck. Part of his job was to rescue those in trouble. Capers was definitely in trouble. So Fearless set off for the fire station and soon came back in the big ladder truck. Harry had returned to the tree and was sitting faithfully under it to make sure that Capers was all right. Hi, Fearless, called Capers. What brings you here? Taking your truck out for a ride? Well, of all the... Fearless began to splutter about to be furious, when Harry stopped him. Harry whispered a plan in Fearless ear and Fearless grinned. Looking up at Capers, Fearless said with surprise in his voice, well, hello, Capers, what are you up to? Oh, just admiring the view. You can see the whole pond from here, Capers replied. So I've heard, Fearless responded. It is very lucky you happen to be just exactly there, Capers, Fearless continued. You can help me with an exercise in fire rescue. Do you mind if I put my ladder up, just as if you needed rescuing, and then I'll come up there too? Why, no, Fearless, that's just fine with me. In fact, I'd welcome the company, and you can take a look at this view. Fearless and Harry set the ladder up against the tree. Harry held the bottom, and Fearless climbed up. Higher and higher he went, and soon he was next to Capers, who had not moved from his branch. Capers, Fearless remarked, you're right. It is a lovely view. I'd love to stay, but I need to get the fire truck back to the fire station. You know, we have a wonderful view from the top of the fire station, too. Would you like to come back with me to see it? Capers graciously agreed, and so he came down the ladder with Fearless. With Harry, they all drove back to the fire station, where they climbed up to the top floor. After admiring the view for a while, Capers decided it was time to leave. Turning to Fearless and Harry, he said, I just wanted to say thanks for, uh... Uh, for the wonderful day, Harry and Fearless looked at each other and smiled. At least it was a start. <laughs>